Do you struggle with guilt? Battles from the past. Want to know how to shed guilt, but you never ever feel that you're going to be able to. What if in this episode, I could teach you not only how to shed guilt, but shed it like that. In this episode of Going Deeper, I'm going to do that and so much more. So welcome to today's show. Welcome to today's episode of Going Deeper with John Morris. Join the show that voyages into the deeper subjects of life, from mental and physical health to emotional and spiritual well-being. But that's not all. John also goes even further into more focused areas such as anxiety, depression, weight loss, and fitness. This is the only place to go deeper in your self-discovery journey. Now please welcome Mind, Body, and Soul's very own John Morris. and welcome to another exciting episode of Going Deeper. I am your host as always, John Morris, the coach for the creative mind and psychologist in training. In today's episode, we are talking about guilt and how to shed it once and for all. And like so many things, as I've said to you in the past, it is important to know the obstacle before you can really, really tackle it. So what is guilt? My definition of guilt is this. Guilt is a feeling that has arisen from a situation that we have attributed an, a negative an emotion to. So for example, it could be telling a child off, because children always know how to make parents feel guilty, or, or youth workers or teachers. It could be being involved in a car crash, maybe where there was fatalities. Maybe it's not being in a certain place when an event has happened and conceiving in your mind that you could have done something to stop that. That is what guilt is, but more specifically, it's locking onto those thoughts and to a specific moment in time that you now attribute negative emotion to. It might, like I say, it might be the child crying. Well, I made my child cry and now I feel guilty. Even though your child may have been doing something wrong, okay? But before we really tackle guilt, I want to explain something else to you. That just may, may open your mind a little bit more. And it's the law of transaction. Stay with me. Stay with me. There is a very, very good reason why I'm telling you about the law of transaction. Everything we do in life has a transaction. Okay? Filming this episode for you, where transaction, I'm giving information, you're giving me your time. I'm giving you my energy, you're giving me your, your watching uh, ability, your views, okay, that may lead into sales, that may be leading to you buying courses or whatever it might be. I'm giving you my experience, you're giving me your attention, okay? Let's break it down a little bit simpler. If you go to the gym, you are transacting energy. If you go shopping, you are transacting money and wealth. If you go and study, for example, and the study's a big, big transaction, because you are going to transact your money, your time, your health, most probably, because studying, depending on what you're studying, can be really mentally taxing. But you're also going to make sacrifices of your family, of your home, of the life that you live, all so you can study this subject that hopefully is going to lead you on to something more amazing. Whenever we make a transaction, the greater the cost the more we would expect back. So if I give someone a thousand pounds, for example, I'm a professional artist as well, so I'm gonna go in those terms. If I give someone a thousand pounds to do a painting for me, or someone gives me a thousand pounds to do a painting for them, then they're gonna expect a thousand pounds worth and something really, really amazing. Do you see what I mean here? The law of transaction, everything we give, we should receive equal measures and equal amounts. Now that doesn't always happen. There is one thing specifically that does not abide by this law. Do you know what it is? It's guilt. Guilt does not operate within the law of transaction. All guilt ever does is to take, take, take. It takes your time, it takes your money, it takes your mental stability, it takes your mental health, it takes your life and eventually just sucks and it never gives anything back apart from negativity, okay? So, Guilt is a really, really powerful thing, and it's very, very important to be aware of what it is. But do you also know that guilt is one of the most worthless and pointless things that a person can ever invest in? Remember, we're talking about transaction here. If you're going to transact something, you want to make sure you get something back in return that's going to benefit you, that's going to build you, that's going to help you. Guilt does not do that. For everything, there is a transaction. 
Guilt cannot change anything in your life. It's an emotion that cannot change. It's a delusion. It cannot change anything in your life. People have been guilty about world wars, one and two, about Vietnam, about the Peloponnesian War, about the war in Iraq. People have been feeling guilty about wars all the time. Does any measure of that guilt, as any measure of guilt, full stop, ever, 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 changed the fact that the wars happened? You know, the, the, the instance in Hiroshima. Does someone being guilty about it change it? No. What happens when you feel guilty? You become trapped and you become ensnared. Nothing else happens. Remember, guilt is essentially a delusion. It's an illusion that we can change it and we cannot change the past. Time machines have not been invented. So your guilt is essentially something that's in the past you can't change it but here's hope for you lessons should be observed reflected upon and then moved on from i'll say that again lessons should be observed learned from and then moved on from and in that instance guilt when you finally figure out bang my guilt it's nothing more than a lesson. I need to observe the lesson, not the guilt. I can't change what's happened here. But if I observe the lesson, then I've got four things. I've got knowledge, I've got wisdom, I've got understanding, and I've got growth. Knowledge, wisdom, understanding, and growth are powerful. Now, you can really hone in on a lesson, and you can say, okay, I wish... I hadn't said that to my son or daughter, or I wish I hadn't been involved in that car accident. Is there anything that I could have done differently? Now you start evaluating and you start using your mind. When you start using your mind, my goodness, as Einstein said, there is nothing more powerful than imagination. An imagination where you can say, could I have dealt with that situation differently? Could I have done something differently? Now you see how you can use these experiences, not feeling guilty about them, but you can use these experiences as lessons that you can say, okay, how can I ensure that that never happens again? And the more that you do this, the more that you open your mind up, the more that you realize nothing that you're guilty about can ever change anything. It's as over as World War I, World War II, Vietnam, Peloponnesian War. Guilt can't change anything. But if you learn to observe the lessons, you can say, how can I ensure that a world war never happens again? By stamping it out right at the very, very start. Which is what should have happened at World War I and World War II. But that's another story for another time. So folks, I really hope this has helped you today to figure out what guilt is. Remember, guilt is nothing more than a delusion. And it's, it, it's a delusion that we can change things by focusing on them. You cannot change history. Guilt is a negative feeling that we associate to an experience or situation from our past. Or based on a decision that we made. Okay? Guilt never gives anything. And the way to change from feeling guilty for something is to have the wisdom to observe the lessons and learn how you can use them to grow, develop, build wisdom, build knowledge, and help someone else. And in that, your suffering will not have been in vain. Folks, I want to thank you so much for watching this episode of Going Deeper. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know. Tell a friend because it could be the very thing that helps them in their hour of darkness and their hour of need. And as always, we are opening up our life coaching practices specifically for teenagers and for creative minds. Those are the people that I'm looking at working with. If you are interested in life coaching one-on-one -on -one with me or life coaching as a group, do get in touch with us because we've got things that are opening up all the time that I think you're Gonna absolutely love and life coaching can make the difference between success and getting where you want to be and not and remember the only difference between success and getting where we want to be is the information available and the information we choose to act upon 
So make sure that you act upon the right stuff. Get in touch with us, of course, at the battles we all face. Leave a comment for me in the section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Till next time, take care. God bless. I have been your host, Joe Morris, the coach of the creative mind and also psychologist in training. And this has been another exciting episode of Going Deeper, where we help you find balance in the craziness of day-to-day -day life. Take care, my friend. Do you, your son or daughter, struggle with direction, clarity and purpose? Maybe you struggle with anxiety. Maybe you struggle with self-esteem or confidence issues. Maybe you've got great ideas, but you've no idea how to get from where you are to where you want to be. Don't worry, you're not alone. People around the world struggle with these issues. Hi there, I'm John Morris. I'm the coach of the creative mind and I'm also a psychologist in training. For the last two decades, I've worked with people from all walks of life and all over the world, all with a wide variety of issues. I've worked with people from youth groups to adult education to people dealing with day-to-day -day living issues. And each one of them has an amazing story to tell and we've helped them get clear as to where they are and clear as to where they want to be. And I want to help you too. Unlike a lot of life coaches and therapists that like to drag things on and leave you dangling on the carrot, I want to make sure that each and every single time that we meet and have a life coaching session together, that you never ever leave saying, man, that was a waste of time, or I didn't get the value that I desired. I am committed to making sure that each and every single time we meet, you are one step closer by the time we finish to a goal that you have in mind. So why should you work with me? Well, let me tell you, as I said, I'm committed to making sure that I provide value, that I provide something that's step by step and easy to follow. I'm also a fantastic listener. I've been blessed with the gift of listening and I love to listen to people, their stories, their, their dreams, their desires, because there's nothing more energetic and passionate to me than when a client gets their first desire or they get that goal or they hit that big target or whatever it might be. And also, as the trifecta, I am committed to you, to helping you take action. So whether or not it be deciding on the university you want to go to, deciding on the course that you want to be in, helping you get excited and passionate about your work environment, whatever it might be, I am committed to helping that happen. I'm also committed, if you need to shed some pounds, if you need to gain some muscle mass, if you need to, I don't know, develop your self-esteem, I'm committed to helping you take action and following a step-by-step plan of action that we can put together. But now folks, I want to tell you about the Early Bird Special Offer that we are launching right now. It is for 10 people and 10 people alone. That's right, if you are interested in having life coaching sessions with me one-on-one, -on -one, 10 people have the opportunity to do that and we're looking to help these people change their lives completely. We take ages 14 and upwards, so if you're interested in learning how to get from where you are to where you want to be, to really develop that passion to live a life that you enjoy as opposed to a life that you wake up and think, ah, you know, how to develop and change your mindset from maybe a negative one to a positive one, understanding what fuels your mindset and understanding what creates the kind of life that you want to live, then get in touch with me today. I would love to hear from you. As I say, this is open only for 10 people and once it's done, it's done. So click that box below, get in touch, let's have a conversation backwards and forwards and see if we're a fit for each other and I look forward to working with you. Have an amazing day. Hey folks, take care, God bless, and I will see you soon.